Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is WannaCry Savior or Criminal Malware Author. Today, news broke that Marcus Hutchins, who's also known as Malware Tech on Twitter, was detained on his way from the DEF CON security conference. If you haven't heard the name Hutchins, you may remember him as the gentleman known as the WannaCry savior. He did research in the WannaCry malware and essentially found its kill switch, a domain he could actually uh, connect to and thus sinkhole WannaCry and prevent it from infecting everybody else. So really, he was a, a hero on the internet the days WannaCry came out. However, according to a Motherboard article who interviewed his friend who wishes to remain anonymous, Hutchins was detained by the FBI on his trip home from the DEF CON security conference. Later in the day, the FBI released their criminal filings against Hutchins, and essentially they accused him of being one of the authors of the Kronos malware. Kronos is essentially banking malware. It targets bank accounts. It came out around 2014 through 2015, although it's persisted until 2016 and also targeted point of sale uh, computers after that fact. In any case, this was malware that its authors released on the Alpha Bay Underground Forum, where they actually sold it as a crimeware kit for around $7,000. It was pretty sophisticated malware. According to the FBI, Hutchins is one of two authors or is somehow associated with the Kronos software. Now do remember, in the US you are innocent until proven guilty. There are some ways that the activities of a researcher might look malicious. For instance, researchers often interact with command and control channels for malware. They might even set up fake command and control channels in order to sinkhole malware traffic. A lot of researchers also lurk on the underground. They may participate participate on underground forums in order to know what the criminals are doing. Some might even uh, upload code just so that someone else will vouch for them to get them on some of these underground communities. That said, writing and selling criminal banking malware is definitely bad. And if this particular researcher had anything to do with it, he should certainly be punished. Anyways, I just found this interesting post DEF CON story. It's very interesting to know that the researcher who was kind of uh, made a hero for preventing some of WannaCry may have been responsible for criminal malware. It is true that sometimes researchers do have gray hat uh, histories where they may have participated in communities before and went good. But for the most part, uh, researchers really are folks that want to prevent criminal hackers. There is this old joke that it's the anti antivirus vendors that are writing the new viruses, but for the most part that is false. Anyways, this is a still developing story and I'm sure we'll see more news about it in the future. If so, we might share it on the blog as well. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.